Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the very long delay in between videos, but as it was summer, I tried to get outdoors as much as I can and work was always busy, so now that winter is fast approaching, I have time on my hands to do a lot more videos, which I am looking forward to doing as I have a lot of videos I want to do. But to catch you up on what I have done so far, as you can see, the layout is a bit different. As uh, I decided I wanted to put the creek through a lot of my tables, so what I did do was I started carving a creek out. So what I did was I originally had, I think it was a one inch piece of styrofoam on uh, this table, but I went to Home Depot and I got a two inch piece of foam. So what I did was I glued the two inch on top of the one inch and then with my hot wire foam cutter, I carved out pretty much how I want it to look, but for appearance sake, I'm definitely going to add like washout areas and like trees and, you know, trees falling over into the creek. This I'm going to fill in and then cover it. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. But what happened was I got done pretty much this whole side of the table. And then my wire broke, so now I have to definitely trim that back, as you can see, because that's a very large overhang for sure. And then what I hope to do is have this side pretty much match this side. So that's definitely going to be done, I'm hoping, next weekend, because my wife and I are going to Otter Valley. So I'll definitely be picking up a wire while I'm there, and hopefully I can get that done next week. But to show you, that's pretty much what I've done so far. The creek's starting to come together pretty good. But let's see what else I've gotten done so far. I had a couple of pieces of scrap, so what I decided to do was make a little area for a house. Right here would be the driveway. I was hoping to have my garage here, and then kind of like a walkway up, and the house would be here. So what I did, was I kind of carved out this area and then made a couple of rock molds with the Woodland Scenics. I kind of glued them all together, but as you can see, there's definitely some gaps. So I'll probably fill them in with like plaster or sculpt a, motor, sculpt a mold, sorry. Or I might add some like grasses or I don't know, something like that just to make it pop a bit more. And then I made another piece for a water tower that I bought. And I'll definitely be showing you that. But... I just didn't want to just kind of just throw the water tower on there. I kind of wanted it to like kind of stand out a bit too. So I made this with the, another piece of scrap that I had. And as you can see, I've got another table going. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting that done as well. And I did pretty much the entire other side of the table like I did here. Like you can see, but... As you can see, I haven't done this side yet, just like this, because I ran out of wire, but I'm hoping I can do that very soon. Like I said, probably, I'm hoping next weekend, but we'll see how uh, the schedule shapes out. Now, as you can see, I'm ready to start laying cork and track, but I need to figure out what kind of bridge I want to go with. I'm hoping I can put the bridge maybe going right across here, and then heading, I have my track going around the back here. But that's pretty much what I've gotten done so far. But as you can see, it's been a while since I've done an update. So as I haven't really done a whole lot on the layout yet, I have been spending a lot of money. So I'll show you what I grabbed over the last couple of months. I grabbed a bag of sculpt mold, which I would like to do, I'd like to use on the bottom here. But I was thinking I would probably cover this all in and then kind of shape it with like, a bottom of a creek where it's like has its high rises and lows and have like tr branches and trees and all that kind of stuff as you can see like have branches and trees and all the kind of debris on the bottom so i'm hoping i can do that with the that bag there and then as we move along i went to a train show not too long ago where i met up with chris aka go beer or go home he had bought these for uh, his bulkhead flat cars that he had, and he bought a couple extras. 
and he was kind enough to give them to me because he didn't need them. So thank you very much for Chris, to uh, Chris for that. I greatly appreciate that. And when I was at the show, I picked up a John Deere tractor. I think that is the 8430. It's a very nice tractor. They just released it not too long ago, and it's going to look awesome on the layup. So I'll definitely pick up a lot more of those. I picked up a 9510 corn uh, header with the, uh, the combine. Can't wait to get that open and on the layout, but that'll probably be a little, hopefully, a little ways down the way so I can do some scenery. Moving along, we got the SD75. If you watch Chris's channel, also known as Go VR Go Home, he did an unboxing for me on this so I could see what it looks like. We actually split on it where I got the SD75 and he got a GP9 ONR. So we we're lucky to get both of them, so I couldn't say no to that. And then moving up, I, I won this on eBay for, I can't remember, I think it was like 50 bucks, but it was in the States, so yeah. Coming to Canada, definitely got pooched on the border there. This I saw on eBay. And I want to have like almost like a rafting school or something like that on the creek. So I'm thinking that with like a little dinghy or something like that on the top would look pretty cool. So I picked one of those up. And then, as you can see, I got a lot more stuff to go. So we'll go over what I got here. I got two grain cars from Bachman. I ordered those from Otter Valley, so... Can't wait to see those running around the layout. Definitely want, like the rainbow color, so I picked up one of those. And you gotta stay true to your country. Picked up definitely one of those. I picked this up a while ago. It's a, uh, the Chainlink Fence, which I'm gonna have around my deer dealership. Uh, it's gonna be probably a pain. I might have to pick up maybe one more of these to have go around the entire deer dealership, so I'll probably have to pick that up. Moving along. The Cucumber and Tomato Patch. I have built a house so far, so I was thinking I might have like a guard, like a vegetable garden in the background, in the backyard. So I picked that up and uh, thought that would be a good area for it. Moving along, footbridges. So what I was thinking was I saw one, so I'm thinking, okay, let's pick up two. So what I'm hoping to do is glue, build them together like that, and then have them kind of cross over right here. Because what I'd like to do is maybe carve a, a path going along here and then have the footbridge cross over here and then have a path going all the way along down the side all the way in the other table. So I got two of those and I'll hopefully start building those next weekend. But let's go back to more goodies on the web. We got the ONR bulkhead flat cars. That is the number 4547 and 4542. Saw those, definitely building up a Ontario Northland uh, fleet, so I couldn't say no to those. The Water Tower, Cornerstone, Walters. I saw that Woodlands Phoenix uh, had one, but for the amount of money they've been asking for it, I just really couldn't say no, yes to it because it's just so expensive. I think I got this one for, I think it was like 30, 40 bucks, whereas the other one's like 111. So, definitely a big price difference. So, I went with one of these. What I'm hoping to do is get at least another two or three of these, but have them spread out through the entire layout. It's a really nice tower, a lot of detail part. It's already built together, so I won't have to break a lot of pieces off of this. So, I hope I don't, but we'll see how it turns out in the end. So that's going to look really awesome, especially with the decal light I want to put onto it. So I hope I can put this out on the layout probably in the next, next week or two. Valley Citrus Packers. I bought this at Otter Valley as well. What I'm hoping I can do is, on the end here, right where all my buildings are, is put a apple farm. And what I might have is uh, my track coming through here and then kind of loop around here and then have my apple farm. So what I'm hoping to do is not have this as like a citrus plant, but almost like an apple, like an apple factory where they like pack up all the apples and ship them out. 
so I'll definitely have to paint it. So now that winter's coming, probably might not happen for paint, but I'll definitely put it together and then uh, probably paint next spring or next summer. Not really sure what color to go with yet, so definitely a project for sure. As you can see, it's pretty detailed, so I'm not really sure. Maybe a red, dark red maybe, so I'll definitely have to get a decal uh, done for it, so that's going to be a project for sure. Just got some switches as well. Got some uh, number six and then all number eight switches, so I have to throw those in the layout. And what I might do is have a number eight go down here and then have a track go across the bridge over here and then into this table and then have another track go along the back and then kind of loop around where that fact the warehouse is and then into my next table when I get that built so that's what I was thinking I could do with the switches for now but I may change my mind down the line but that's what I'm looking at doing so far with these my fire station <sighs> that's all I can say to that because it's probably gonna be quite the build as I got this at Otter Valley as well I'll definitely have to pick up another one this weekend because what I hope to do is this one's a three bay but I'd like to kit bash it and have two of these side by side so it'd be six bays and then take the roof off and then add a second story and then add like almost like a living area for like a gym, a kitchen, and, like a bunk area, and then add the roof on top of that. So that's definitely going to be the build. And to be honest, I'm not looking really forward to it, but it's gonna, I hope it turns out well in the end. So and that's what I'll probably be do, focusing on probably next couple of days. I would like to